let's welcome to our stage North Carolina's king of comedy, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jay Hickman. Shit, I ain't been so popular since I bought DeLorean stock. <laughs> I don't have no goddamn luck with cars at all. I got one of them Toyotas, got in that son of a bitch night, went to crank it, the engine fell out of it, all four wheels fell off of it, the steering wheel fell off of it. Little Japanese jumped out of the glove compartment and said, you asked what you got it, bend over Toyota. <laughs> oh, what a feeling. I guess it is a good feeling, fucking me out of $20,000. <laughs> got my other car, one of them French cars called Le Car. First thing to go, Le Brakes. Then I got my wife's car. She's got a Camaro. Camaro, that's an Indian word for fill this fucker up again. <laughs> I was kidding about the DeLorean and all that shit, but I'm telling you, drugs is crazy these days. I was at a damn party the other night. Old woman, 60 years old, come to me and said, Jay, smoke this shit. It's called Colombian gold. Damn, talking about knocking your dick in your watch pocket. I smoked that son of a bitch, felt something cold on my shoulder, looked up, it's a fucking floor. Pulled up to a stop sign, waited 10 minutes, that fucker turned green. <laughs> Another friend of mine said, go get you some cocaine. Yeah, cocaine, that's God's word for you making too much fucking money. <laughs> <laughs> I went to a friend I thought I had, $100 for a little bit of shit, wouldn't fill up a thimble. Turned out to be bacon soda and I snored the whole goddamn thing. Ever since then, I've been wanting to sit in the refrigerator and suck up fucking odors. That shit'll get the best of you. There ain't nothing more embarrassing. The police get you out of the car, tell you to walk that white line, you get on your hands and knees, try to snort that fucker. <laughs> Where are you from? Chicago. Chicago? Black guy from Chicago? I bet you a mean motherfucker, ain't you? <laughs> shit, yeah. This here the college grad, them round glasses on, right, brother? <laughs> oh, well, he's the lawyer. He's gonna get you out of jail, right? <laughs> You see them car commercials on TV, got Bill Cosby driving a Ford? Ain't that some bullshit? Ain't no black man giving up a Cadillac for a fucking Ford. You see a black man in the Ford, he's in a backseat handcuff. Who they bullshitting? Shit. I grew up in my all-black neighborhood in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. For 15 years, I thought my name was Seifu. I walked down the street, all the black guys stood on the corner and went, Seifu! You used to bust me to all-white school. I wanted to go to black school. We never did win a fucking football game. <laughs> Wasn't cause a black school had better athletes or better coaching staff, better facilities. It was the fucking spirit. White cheerleaders come out doing cheers like, two bit, four bit, six bit a dollar, all four high schools, stand up and holler, yay. <laughs> black cheerleaders over, kick them in the mud, kick them in the dirt, get your motherfucking ass up, honky, you ain't hurt. <laughs> and, uh, we from... <laughs> Shit. And we can say anything in the world to a black guy. They got two words that fucks our whole day up. Black guy step out and side, off the sidewalk in front of our car. We getting ready to go. Get out of the way, you black motherfucker. You don't own the goddamn road, you son of a bitch. Get your black ass back up on the goddamn sidewalk, you black son of a bitch. I'll blow your goddamn brains at you black motherfucker. Black guy said, yo, mama. <laughs> hey, like, what did I say now, Harry? I done used mine all up. Like little, 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 little white guy standing in the bathroom pissing. Big black guy running and pulled out a great big old black dick. Said, oh, I just made it. Little white guys, you make me one of them in white? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I tell you the damn truth. I don't give black, white, what y'all said. We got some little Japanese fuckers over here tonight. How y'all doing? <laughs> I, I, got, I, got a, I got a radio on you looking after the show, all right? Come in here tonight and look at the vertical pussy, huh? <laughs> but, but it don't matter where we are, we all grow up, get married. So I've been happily married three fucking times. My first old lady, she was a woman's liver. Divorced me for opening the car door for her. We was going 55 mile an hour, but fuck her. <laughs> Bitch just couldn't take a joke. She told me one time, said, take me somewhere I've never been before. I took her to the fucking kitchen. $900 I spent on her going to Julia Child's cooking school. Bitch made meatloaf that glowed in the fucking dark. You think this bitch couldn't cook with flies chipped in, bought us a fucking screen door. 
I should have known not to marry her. I met her at a bar. I said, I sure would like a little pussy. She said, me too. Mine's big as a hat. <laughs> but it's amazing when you first get married, you know? Things go good when you first get married. After you're married for a while, you go into all that shit, man. I went home the other night. The old lady said, what you mean coming here half drunk? I said, I run out of fucking money. I went home one night, she's packing her goddamn suitcase. I said, where are you going? She said, Las Vegas, Nevada. I said, for what? She said, I understand out there, I can get $400 a shot for what I've been giving to you for nothing. I started packing my goddamn suitcase. <laughs> she said, where are you going? I said, Las Vegas. She said, for what? I said, I want to watch you live on $800 a fucking year. It is amazing, when you first get married, God damn, you get that pussy every day. No problem, you want some pussy, get that pussy, no problem. Shit, be anywhere, be in the damn kitchen, by the sinks, baby, I sure would like some pussy. Come get the motherfucking here, you got it. No goddamn problem. But a woman don't go from giving you pussy every day to every other day, to once a week, to once a month, to once every two months, no, shit. You go from getting that pussy every day to fucking never. You think something doesn't grow up on your dick, make it look funny or something, you don't. Know. Well, after about three months of begging for it, you go in the bedroom, get all dressed up in your nicest suit one Friday night. Come out, there she'll lay on the sofa, smoking a Virginia Slim and reading one of them goddamn Cosmopolitan. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't let your old lady subscribe to Cosmopolitan. That some bitch is 260 pages long and 250 of them is why she shouldn't fuck you. <laughs> Son of a bitch. So you go in, there she lay on the sofa, you say, hey, baby. What do you say you jump up, put on one of your nicest cocktail dresses, we'll go out, have a few drinks, have something to eat, go dancing, come home, build a fire, open a bottle of wine, and make love like we used to. I'm not in the mood. You not in the what? I'm not in the mood. Well, that just suits the shit out of me. Did you think I wanted some of your pussy? <laughs> I don't want none of your goddamn pussy. Keep your pussy to yourself. I was getting pussy before I met you. Do you know that? Yeah, getting my dick sucked too. Walk, walk, all the goddamn time. <laughs> you don't give me no pussy. Keep your pussy to yourself. I hope the some bitch heals over, breaks out underneath your arm, after raise your elbow to piss. <laughs> Cause I can get me some pussy. I'm still a man. You get in the car, screech out of the driveway. Whoa, 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 bitch won't give me no pussy. I'll fuck everything in town. Oh, treat me like shit. I'll get the herpes and bring them motherfuckers home. Oh, fuck that shit, bitch. Treat me like shit. Oh. Four o'clock that morning, there you sit by yourself, shit-faced at Denny's. <laughs> I mean, the busboy looked real good. <laughs> so you go, you decide once again in your drunken stupor, you're going home, make love to the wife. My goddamn, why fuck if I want to? If you make it home alive, you park a car somewhere between the driveway and the front porch. Go in the front door, put your shirt tail in, you don't straighten yourself up, don't let her know you're drunk, right? Don't know why you put your shirt tail in, because your zipper's busted, you done pissed all over yourself. <laughs> I'm like most drunks, I get drunk, I get conceited. Go to the bathroom to take a leak, hold my two inch dick like a baseball bat and piss on my last three fingers. <laughs> or just pull out a hair and piss in my pants, one or two, you know? So you go in, the only light on is a little closet light. My old lady's like a lot of women. She sleeps in a nude just to fuck with my mind. Ain't gonna give me no pussy, but lays out like a buffet where I can see it. <laughs> Every once in a while, I'll reach out and touch it. What'd you do that for? Hell, it would lay in there, shit. <laughs> Thought the son bitch might move. The only light on is that little closet light. The beam of light's coming out of the door where it's partially cracked. The blanket's pulled down on one side of her and one tit looking at you. You drunk and it's four o'clock in the morning, that fucker looks big. <laughs> you start looking around, make sure you done walked in the right fucking house. You see that son of a bitch again, you start to move on it. God damn. Big old fucking titty old Bible. If I ever get over, I'm gonna have to suck that son of a bitch. <laughs> Baby cake. She'll give you one of these. <sighs> mm. 
You're fucking drunk. <laughs> you know it doesn't get hard when you're drunk. Once in a while, I'd like a blue vein throbber. <laughs> oh, you know what that is? Well, a blue vein throbber ain't something a man snaps his goddamn fingers and gets. That's one of them some bitches you can't turn the skin on it with a Sears wrench. That's one of them bastards you wake up with about the fifth week of boot camp. Got his head sticking out of the blanket, looking around like a fucking periscope. Got a mind of his own. I'm gonna go fuck something downtown. No, you ain't. Didn't you give me this shit? You don't do anything to stimulate me. Why don't you buy me a vibrator? Why don't I put it in your mouth and you hum? <laughs> All right, you smart ass. No more sex till I get a vibrator. Well, I said to hell with it. I went right then to one of them all-night cheap fucking bookstores. Had a big flash of neon sign said, all-night cheap fucking bookstore. <laughs> went in there and bought the deluxe model called Big Red. <laughs> Some bitch was nice, boy. $195 was the first payment. <laughs> Four speed with three Mercury engines on the back of this fucker. <laughs> Turbo charge and a crash helmet in case you get thrown off. It's overdrive's a motherfucker. Goddamn batteries go dick. <laughs> My, my first old lady was one of them women that had to tell everybody in the world when she was climaxing. And we had to live with her mom and daddy because we didn't have no money. And her daddy didn't like me worth a shit. And we had to sleep in the next bedroom with them paper-thin walls. And let me tell you something. It's a medical fact. A man does not like the idea of you fucking his daughter. I don't care how many ceremonies you've been through. Dick his little girl, uh-uh. And every time me and this bitch is making love, she's in there. I'm coming! I am coming! Shh, you gonna wake that motherfucker up! I am coming! He used to beat on the door and go, where the fuck you going? <laughs> then you get them women who wanna ask you questions in the middle of making love. Right in the middle of the whole goddamn thing, won't give you a little fucking pop quiz. You know? Is it good? It's good to me. Is it good to you? I feel so good about it. I, I tell you what, it feels so right to me. Anyone after all this time, my relationship, I feel so good about it. Does it feel good to you? It feels good to me. You won't talk, you won't fuck. You let me get this shit over with, I'll go home, fill out a report, and mail the motherfucker in. <laughs> My old lady bought one of them books that says that you're supposed to tell your partners when you climb maxing, no matter who you are. Well, that's bullshit. It, it depends on what kind of voice you have. Uh, you imagine somebody like Lawrence Welk climaxing? A wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> a one and a two, and I'm a three. Gomer Paul, Shazam. <laughs> Lou Ann, you sure do know how to suck a Peter Gall up. <laughs> Tattoo, the pussy boss, the pussy. <laughs> Fuck the plane, how about the pussy? <laughs> Jimmy Stewart, climaxing. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm done. Uh, uh. Nixon, wouldn't that be romantic? Pat, give me a Hummer. <laughs> Come on, lift that dick one time for me, I'm coming. <laughs> Jimmy Carter? <laughs> Rosaline, my peanut's spitting at you again. <laughs> Get him, Goober. I'm telling you. <laughs> My old lady bought one of them books. 366 pages on oral sex. 365 of them was about eating pussy. 366 was the index. There weren't one word in there about blowjobs. I told on the honeymoon, I said, honey, blow is an expression. You got to suck that motherfucker. This bitch is down there. 
my balls are swelling up and shit. Hey, wait a minute. I blow a right nut, I ain't gonna be good to anybody. And I found out one thing about oral sex, and I didn't find this out reading no goddamn book. You do not be going down on a woman when she gets ready to climax. You can get fucking hurt. I'm not talking medicine cabinet hurt. I'm talking intensive care. When she decides your hair is the steering wheel, your ears are the direction indicators, and she's gonna park your face where she wants it to be. Yeah, right there's where it felt good. Oh, now go back and forth again. Go back and forth again. All right, motherfucker, make a big circle. Wait a minute, bitch, you breaking my neck. Thank you. It's true. I got a new way to get laid now. I go home four o'clock morning, the old lady sleeping with her mouth open. I drop two aspirins in her mouth. Blink, blink. She'll wake up a few minutes, spit them out. What the hell was that? I say, two aspirins. She wouldn't give me aspirins for. I ain't got no headache. Say, good, wanna fuck? <laughs> and they wonder why we get drunk. I'll tell you the damn truth. Shit. And one thing every man hates worse than anything in the world is get caught drunk and driving. Same thing happens every man gets caught drunk and driving. We get pissed off. We don't like no policeman writing us a ticket just because we pulled up on somebody's front porch. We be so damn drunk, we don't know our name, zippers down, done pissed on herself, fire into the cigarettes, missing, it's in the seat, burn our ass up somewhere. But when the policeman walks up to the car, we get distinguished. Policeman say, can I see your driver's license? Our voice lowers down about nine octaves. Well, that seems to be a problem, officer. Just let me see your driver's license. Okay, very well. Driver's license, you got it, uh-huh. Driver's license. Well, if I was to inform you, I do not have the goddamn thing. <laughs> I'd put your ass in jail. They hear some fucking word. <laughs> Finally talking about the ticket. As he's walking away from the car, you always got a friend in the passenger seat, drunk on you, or it's gonna help you out. <laughs> hey, asshole! <laughs> you can't talk to my fucking friend like that. Especially when he's been drinking, you cocksucker! And it's altogether different when the police pull you, you've been smoking that shit. You've been smoking that shit and the police pull you, the attitude is different. You're happy to see the blue lights. <laughs> All right, turn on your yellow one. <laughs> he comes up the car, you won't even roll the window down, you leave the heater on, fuck him. You know the speed limit on I-75, boy. Boy? Man, I got a yard full of dick, bucket full of balls, enough hair on my ass to weave an Indian blanket. Who you calling boy? <laughs> you ever see a boy put a rubber on with a fucking tire tube? <laughs> the speed limit. Yes, sir, I watch them commercials on TV. It ain't just a good idea. It's a fucking law. Yip, boop. <laughs> friends don't let friends get drunk and drive alone. They get drunk and ride with them. Never catch me going old 55 on the interstate. Never old 55, no three Bob. Never old 55. You were going seven miles an hour. <laughs> well, my girlfriend's giving me a blowjob. I couldn't help it. You know how your foot draws up when you get ready to come? There ain't nobody in the fucking car with you. Damn, didn't know I could reach it. <laughs> I smell something. You ought to. You done scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Thank you. Please say the dumbest shit in the world to a drunk. Every day stand on the street corner drunk, three o'clock morning, can't find your car, your pants don't know your name. Police always walk up and ask the same dumb ass question. The hell you think you doing standing out here? I always go, well, I hear the world's going around every 24 hours. I'm waiting on my fucking house. Won't be long now, cause there goes my neighbor. <laughs> Please say the only one that say dumb shit. People in general say dumb shit. You ever say to somebody, I lost my wallet? They always go, yeah, where? <laughs> well, it's under the fucking sofa, but I ain't gonna look there, all right? Going to piss, pal? 
$50,000 recording, you going to piss. We're going to be quiet and hear you. Don't eat the rock can in the urinal. It ain't worth a shit. Another one, another one dumb, peop, dumb things people say. Another one dumb things people say. Your dog shits in the house, you always take him by the neck and bring him in and point to it and say, did you do this? <laughs> What's the dog supposed to do? Look up and go, no, man, another dog snuck through the window, shit on the rug, went out the front door. <laughs> did you ask the cat, maybe that filthy little fucker did it? <laughs> and I seen that little bastard baby crawling around here about noontime. <laughs> and this is my favorite. You chain your flat tire on the highway, all them people out there playing, what's my lane? <laughs> oh, fuck you, crazy son bitch, you like to run over me. <laughs> Trying to change, oh, get back in the car, bitch, I'm fixing the goddamn tire. You bought these cheap son bitches anyway. Recap this motherfucker one time, will you? <laughs> son of a bitch and shit. <laughs> Some jerk always walks up and goes, have a flat? No, asshole, I rotate my tires every 2,000 miles no matter where the fuck I'm at. <laughs> well, did you wash your fucking hands? Smell his hands if ain't piss on, pal. <laughs> you, what do they call you, old squirt and split? God damn. What'd you do, piss by the cigarette machine? Holy shit, he was quick. I'll tell you the damn truth. Yeah. What? Where are you from? Boston. Boston, Mass. There once was a senator from Mass who went out and searched some ass. He lucked up and found it and fucked up and drowned it, and that was into his ass. <laughs> they just investigated that accident to see how fast he's going. Come out of the paper day, he's going between 85 and 90 miles an hour. Said, so take that much speed for the impact to blow her pantyhose off and put them in the fucking glove compartment. <laughs> But anyway, we're not gonna get it. But we were talking about uh, women earlier. How many of y'all uh, like fat women? Yeah. One girl hollered out in the back. <laughs> Fucking great. Nobody. My last girlfriend, no, I see, I found out what uh, women's five most favorite men are. It's the doctor, the dentist, the interior decorator, the milkman, and the banker. Doctor says, take your clothes off. Dentist says, open wide. Interior decorator says, I got it up now, how do you like it? <laughs> Milkman says, you want the front or the rear? And the banker says, don't pull it out, you lose interest. <laughs> and I found out what men's three most favorite women are. It's a nurse, school teacher, and the airline stewardess. The nurse says, lay back and rest, I'll take care of everything. I like that, god damn. <laughs> school teacher keeps making you do it till you get it right. <laughs> god damn, I like that too. And the airline stewardess says, put this over your face and breathe normally. <laughs> and I really like that. <laughs> now, you know your girlfriend's too fat when she sits on your face and you can't hear the fucking stereo. <laughs> My last girlfriend in North Carolina fat. <laughs> she was standing on the street corner one day and the police come along and told her to break it up. <laughs> Big woman. The right side of her ass had a different area code. <laughs> this was a fat woman. <laughs> For a Tampax, she used a roll of bounty and a rope. <laughs> <laughs> this was a big woman. <laughs> In summertime, we used to take her to the beach and sell shade. <laughs> big woman. I took her to dinner one night. Waiter come up and said, want a menu? I said, no, a fucking estimate. <laughs> big woman. How big was she? She had one of them IUDs with aluminum coil. When she walked down the street, she picked up Radio Free Europe. <laughs> <laughs> big woman. How big was she? At lunchtime, we used to take her to McDonald's just to watch the fucking sign change. Think about them, folks. Think about them. <laughs> big woman! How big was she? I took her to a gynecologist one time. She put her foot in the stirrups. He looked up and said, what a hole, what a hole. She said, you didn't have to say it twice. He said, I didn't. The second was a fucking echo. <laughs> big woman! How big was she? 
Let me tell you one more time how big this fucking one was. I took her to the airport, she had on a pair of tight yellow britches. She'd been over, they split, two guys got in, thought it was a yellow cab. <laughs> the next joke I want to tell you has become kind of a classic for me. It's the one that people most request. It's about the guys can't talk too plain. And he's, he's sitting at the bar, and he says to a friend, he said, you know nothing. Friend said, what? Yeah, I can't get no money. Friend said, what? And you heard me. I can't get no money. Friend said, well, you're about dumber than shit. He said, what are you talking about? Friend said, ain't you got a lot of money? Ain't you wealthy, millionaire several times over and shit like that? He said, yeah, I got the fucking money. Yeah, oh, shit, yeah. He said, why don't you buy your boat? He said, how ain't a boat gonna help me get no money? Guy said, you dumb son of a bitch, didn't you know that all women love boats? You know I didn't know that. <laughs> he said, well, they do. He said, buy your boat, set it on the ocean. Good looking girl comes walking down the beach. Go, hey, honey, you wanna go for a little boat ride? She'll say, yeah, cause women love boats. Hop her in the boat, take her 10 miles out in the ocean, pull a key out of the ignition, look at her and say, put out or swim. <laughs> Guy says, sounds like a good fucking idea to me. <laughs> He went and bought him a boat. This son of a bitch was 180 feet long. Chandelier, dining room, living room, bedroom, gold fixtures in the bathroom. Son of a bitch was beautiful. Must have cost $950,000. <laughs> he set it on the ocean. Good looking girl come walking down the beach, had on one of them little bikinis. I mean, you seen more cotton than the top of a fucking aspirin bottle. He's standing on the back of that boat, but he's kind of bashful. Never had nothing to do with women for. Had a slow approach. He said, Hey, hey, honey, how you doing? You need my boat, uh huh. You need my boat, uh huh. Would you like to go on your mobile, mobile, wild, boat wild with me, please? She liked boats. She figured, what the hell? She hopped on the boat. He took her 10 miles out in the ocean, just like his friend said, and pulled the key out of ignition. Looked at her and said, uh, you, you got you, uh, put, 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 put it out, all of it, all of it out. Or you got you, uh, swim. <laughs> and could I mention to you, it's a good fucking swim. <laughs> She figured, what the hell? She didn't want to argue with this dumb bastard. She dropped a little swimsuit. He run up and screwed the shit out of her. Going back, this son of a bitch is happy. Oh, white motherfucker, dicky wicky. <laughs> Next day, he's standing on the back of that boat. Good looking girl come walking down the beach. She's getting a little braver now. And on you. What's going on with you, baby? How would you like to go for a little boat ride with the macho man? She figured, well, he's a weird bastard, but she loved boats. She hopped on the boat, he took her 10 miles out in the ocean, pulled the key out of the ignition, looked at her and said, put out or swim. She figured, what the hell? She dropped a little swimsuit and he rumped and screwed the shit out of her. Going back, this son of a bitch has gone crazy. He's running over fucking water skiers, <laughs> ramming bridges, throwing beer balls to them big Navy ships, saying, down my way, asshole. Next day, you gotta imagine this guy. He ain't never been laid for in his life. He's been laid two times in two days, and he is cocky. He's standing on the back of that boat that third day in a men's bikini bathing suit with one nut hanging out the side. <laughs> Big gold chain, purple knit hat, little bitty alligator sewing to his bare titty. <laughs> Pair of disco shoes that light up on the hill say, wanna fuck? <laughs> Good looking girl come walking down the beach. Now he's coming. Hey, bitch. Yeah, ho, I'm talking to you. How would you like to bring your big fat ass on my fucking boat? And go for a little boat ride. Don't make no goddamn difference to me. She figured, well, this is an arrogant bastard, but she loved boats. She hopped on the boat. He took her 10 miles out in the ocean, pulled the key out, and then she looked at her and said, put out or swim. She didn't want to argue with him either. She dropped a little swimsuit, and when she did, God damn. Stank. Stank up the whole fucking ocean. 
Bluefish was jumping up out of the water with the fingers on their nose going, God damn. Swordfish is sawing each other in half. Jaws spit his teeth out on the beach and said, fuck it, I don't need them anymore. He took one whiff of that son of a bitch. Ooh, yeah, I do. There ain't nothing wrong with that motherfucker. She said, are you a doctor? He said, no, I ain't no veterinarian either, but I know a horse's ass when I smell one. <laughs> you better have that comment looked at by somebody that know what he's doing. My guess is some kind of animal done crawl up that motherfucker and die. Smell <laughs> like it's been dead a long time. Now you move out of the way, you don't get none of that shit on my clothes. I'll go back to beating my meat, buck that shit. He went to put his key in ignition to get the hell out of there. When he did, she reached in her pocketbook, got a pistol, stuck it upside his head, pulled the hammer back on the trigger and said, eat it or swim. <laughs> his, his, his friend said, well, what happened? He said, you didn't hear about no motherfucker drowning out there, did you? <laughs> And the first thing I think about in the morning when I wake up, if I ain't fucking, is making people laugh. The last thing I think about at night when I go to sleep, if I ain't fucking, is making people laugh. Making people laugh has been my whole life. Fucking sure ain't. Of course, I made a lot of girls laugh while I was fucking them. I was making love to one the other night. I said, you gonna hate yourself in the morning? She said, I hate myself right fucking now. My dick ain't got no conscience. That's the reason, that's the reason us men are at a disadvantage. It's a damn fact we at a disadvantage because we got a dick. And a dick is a dumb fucking thing. A dick's got a head with no brains, got an eye that won't see, hangs around with two nuts, lives around the corner from an asshole, and its best friend's a cunt. Now you tell me we ain't got problems. Yeah. Women want to be equal. What the hell women want to be equal for when they're already superior? You don't think women's superior? You crazier than shit. They got half the money and all the pussy. Once you got all the pussy, it's just a matter of time before you got all the money. Because I'm not ashamed to say if I could suck my own dick, I'd have saved myself $60,000 last year. And heaven knows I've cracked my neck more than one time trying. I even took yoga classes to try to reach them. <laughs> And I found out there's no shame in masturbation, is it, sir? <laughs> you flip that old chicken, don't you, boy? <laughs> Damn right, there ain't nothing wrong with it. Both hands, you lying motherfucker. <laughs> the only thing your second hand's holding is your first hand. Shit. <laughs> <See it. laughs> A lot of wonderful things about masturbation. Get home drunk, four o'clock in the morning, my hand don't never have a fucking headache. <laughs> Goes faster when I want to go faster. Slows down. I want, I'm getting hard on thinking about this shit. <laughs> Tightens up. When you want to tighten up, how many of them fuckers do that, huh? When you're finished, it don't go, I didn't come. <laughs> of course, you can get carried away with that shit, start painting little lips on your fingers and shit, you know? I put a wig on my knuckles. I said, I got to see some fucking body about this. <laughs> I went and seen a guru. Yeah, seen a guru. Got concerned about it. Guru told me there was nothing wrong with masturbation. Of course, I knew the fuckers going to say that. That's the reason they never come out of the tent. <laughs> Smoke a little opium and blah, 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 blah. Guru told me people that don't masturbate, them's the kind of people that get out of the shower to piss. And it takes a dumb some bitch to get out of the shower to piss. <laughs> when you can point it toward the drain and watch it go down. <laughs> Ain't gonna hurt my feet, it's my piss. <laughs> of course, if you're in there with somebody else, hey, motherfucker, wait a minute here. Yeah. <laughs> Guru also told me people that don't masturbate, <laughs> them's the kind of people that hold their farts in. 
Now that's another dumb son of a bitch hold a fart in. Every minute you hold that fart in, that fucker's gaining momentum. <laughs> then it's gonna turn to shit. And it's a whole lot easier to explain a little fart than it is shitting in your britches. You let off a little fart, people forgive you in a couple days. You shit in your britches, fuckers will talk about you for years. See, there are basically three kind of farts. I studied this. First kind of fart is called the giggler. The giggler fart's the one that makes a little sound, but it don't stink. And everybody giggles about it once they test the air. Goes something like, <laughs> then you have the where is that fart. This one don't make no sound, but God damn. You don't know this fucker's been let till everybody starts moving. Then you have the most critical type fart. The one that cost about nine lives in this country last year. Called the get my gun fart. This is the one your friend lets on you in the car going down the highway and the fucking windows don't go down. And all that air conditioning does is take that fart out, recycle it, and bring that fucker right back in at you. Except this time it's cold and it sticks to you and shit. Yeah, I tell you. See, women don't mind gas. They wear them pantyhose. The only thing that happens to them when they fart is their ankles swell. I went off a girl the other night, blew her fucking shoes off. <laughs> Never forget my first little girl. How many of y'all remember your first, first, first time you got laid? Yeah? yeah. yeah. Well, the first time you got laid? Big fucker here on the front. <laughs> what do you do for a living? Don't have to do a hell of a lot, do you, pal? Just walk in somebody's house, start fucking eating. What are they going to do? <laughs> Come back New Year's, we're going to stamp Goodyear on your ass and fly you all over Miami Beach. <laughs> well, you remember the first time you got laid? Where was it? Last night. <laughs> Last night? <laughs> It was good, wasn't it? Now you know what everybody's been talking about. Where's the first place you got laid, sir? Right here. Got throwing up. I like that beard and mustache. Looks like a fucking armpit with eyes. Uh, uh, where's the first place you got laid, sir? My house? Oh, ugly bitch, ain't she? God damn, bless your heart. You ain't going back, are you? Shit, no. Remember your first piece? Soon as you hit skin, it's all over with. God damn, you broke it. It's leaking. What'd you do? Either that or you get so fucking excited, you hit everything but the hole. Hit the dirt, the trees, the goddamn bushes. The bitch is sitting up 10 yards away from you going, could you work your way back down here, motherfucker? <laughs> yeah. You take it. Yeah, I love to take my girl different places. Where's the first place you took your girl to get laid? Where? Yeah. Where, God damn it. <laughs> Fucking lewd kicked in, huh, pal? <laughs> oh, fucking 400 people in here. I gotta fuck with a guy on lewds. <laughs> I bet the black guy, you remember your first piece of that big old dick, don't you, motherfucking shit? Yeah. <laughs> Where's your first piece at? In the wood. In the wood. <laughs> Y'all fuck them anyway, won't you, boy? <laughs> That's when God get made come, make y'all know when to stop fucking. Big old dick shit. I'm not jealous of a guy with a big dick, I'll tell you that much. No, sir. Mm -mm. Cause see, you know, a dick ain't got no bones. I found that out the other day. Dick ain't got a bone in it. You know what fills the dick up when it gets hard? Blood. You know what pumps blood? The heart. Now you might have a big dick, brother, but you got the same fucking heart I got. See, you get a heart on, your heart goes, God damn, man, fucking go, 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 fucking working shit, God damn, go, go, you sucking on the titty, man, oh, fuck, go, 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 You got God damn, by the time you get ready to fuck, that thing is all, fuck this shit, dick, oh. <laughs> shit, my heart skip a beat, I'm right there. <laughs> fucking no, bro. <laughs> what you call them female doctors? Guy in a college, yeah. Fuckers sound like y'all to be looking for rocks or something. 
Why don't they just call them pussy doctors? It'd be a lot easier to look up in the phone book. <laughs> yeah, they're Every time my old lady goes to one, she comes home with a different ration of shit. Last time she came home and said, the doctor said I had a tight box. I said, did he say anything about your big ass? <laughs> she said, he didn't mention your name the whole time I was there. <laughs> she come home one time and said, women have the greatest pain of it all. We bear children. Now, women cannot say bearing children is the greatest pain of it all until they zip their dick up in their zipper. <laughs> and the worst part about that is you gotta come back down with a fucking zipper. <laughs> and once you zip your dick up in your zipper, you ain't on your own gonna pull that fucker back down. <laughs> you gotta find a friend with a quaalude and a blindfold. <laughs> that fucking hurt. I'll tell you, and if they don't make you go to the female doctor with them, make you go to the goddamn grocery store. But if you don't go to the grocery store with them, they'll get your ass back. They'll wait till Saturday afternoon, like our Super Bowl Sunday, that's a good day. Super Bowl Sunday, you laying there watching the ball game, having a cold beer, laying there in your underwear and white socks, playing with your dick. <laughs> Ain't it amazing what happens to us men, we get in underwear and white socks, straight to the dick we go, boy. <laughs> Be fourth and 25, say, go for it, go for it. She'll come in and say some shit like, go to the grocery store and buy me some Tampax. <laughs> now, baby, I cleaned out the garage, washed the car, mowed the grass, swept the driveway. But don't make me go have no fucking Tampax, all right? <laughs> People think I lost my goddamn mind. <laughs> Hurry up, you son bitch, I need them. Super Deluxe, the big blue box. <laughs> I drive clear across town, nobody know me. Sneak in the grocery store, sneak up the Tampax section, Pick up a box of Tampax, put it underneath my coat, sneak up to the checkout clerk, look around, set it down. What happens? It ain't got no fucking price tag on it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the broad behind the register do? Goes over the intercom, the fucker in the back. Clarence, can we get a price check on this Tampax, this gentleman up front, please? <laughs> he thinks he says thumbtacks. He comes back over, you want to kind you push him with your hand or drive in with a hammer. <laughs> you seen them Tampax commercials on TV? We're not number one, but we're right up there. What is that shit anyway? <laughs> and the Kotex commercial said, we ain't the best thing, but we're next to it. They got that and right, them some bitches. <laughs> I want to tell you something. I got a friend in the audience tonight, and I'm proud to call him a friend, Brother Dave Gardner. Will you stand up, Brother Dave? Put a spotlight on Brother Dave, yeah! You the best, Brother Dave. I tell you, another one of them commercials that pissed me off. This guy comes in from working. His wife's cooking in front of the stove. He comes in, puts his arms around her waist and goes, Mmm, that smells good. Is that you? She says, no, that's Campbell's bean and bacon. Can you imagine what this bitch normally smells like? <laughs> she must smell like beaver piss or some shit, boy. <laughs> God damn, that's a welcome change shit. And they got all them uh, commercials, like for McDonald's. I'm pissed off at McDonald's. They fired me there one time, said I didn't have enough acne. Ever see them fuckers that work there look like they've been bobbing for french fries or some shit? <laughs> you deserve a break today, so put a sack on your fucking head, you don't give me a break. <laughs> then they go on. You ever go to McDonald's and notice every some bitch behind the counter is a fucking manager? <laughs> that must be a tough job to get. What's that? Hamburger. What's that? French fry. <laughs> you are a manager. If you miss one of the questions, you manager trainee. <laughs> and if you happen to spot an apple pie, you fucking district manager. <laughs> I'm telling you damn true, they got all these, and McDonald's finally done it. They come up with something I'm scared to fucking order. Chicken McNuggets. If a part of a chicken's gonna be a fucking nugget, what 
part you think it's gonna be. I ain't paying a dollar sixty-nine for deep fried chicken nuts. Fuck them. And I guess this one. This one pisses me off worse than any of them. Morris! Morris! She always goes, at the end of Morris, you finicky pussy cat. You just won't eat nothing but nine lives, will you? <laughs> Bullshit! You don't feed that cocksucker for 10 days. He'll eat a peanut butter and jelly fucking sandwich. Be glad to get that son bitch too. Be looking at you going, got more jelly? This is really delicious. But see, I don't want to insult anybody. I never intend to insult anybody, but I don't want to insult any cat lovers in here tonight. I just want to mention that I personally can't stand them furry motherfuckers. I like a dog. A dog's your damn friend. Hey, you feed a dog one time a day, he'll follow you to hell and back. A dog's your buddy. Take a dog to the park. Say, dog, go get this stick. Dog say, all right, motherfucker. I'll go get the stick and it don't make no sense, asshole, but I'll pick it up and bring it back to you. Cause I love you. And on the way home, I'm gonna hang my head out the window and let my tongue wrap around my neck three fucking times. Cause I love you. But a cat, them independent some bitch, they like. Wanna pet me? Walk over here, motherfucker. <laughs> if you're real lucky, I might shit in that box. <laughs> and it never fails. Every time I go to somebody's house for a party, there'd be 25 people in the living room. The dog always fucks my leg. Hey, I've been to doctors to see if I might have a dog pussy growing inside of my skin. <laughs> and a dog will let you know only you when he's gonna fuck your leg. He gives you little subtle hints like circle, circles you while he's fucking himself in the chest, you know. <laughs> you know he's gonna fuck your leg. <laughs> but you can't hang all the people that own the dog and say, Hey man, your dog's gonna fuck my leg. <laughs> I went to the house the other night, people had a great day, and you gotta be careful, them some bitches throw you in the closet. <laughs> he hopped up on my leg, I said, get off my goddamn leg. He said, ah, 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 cyber, hurry up, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is unreal. And there ain't but one dog I'm afraid of. And it's not the Great Dane or the German Shepherd or the uh, Doberman Pinscher. One dog I'm really afraid of is the fucking Chihuahua. <laughs> Them some bitches is treacherous. Little bitty fuckers. Them big old eyes. Look like a rat on acid. <laughs> Always sitting on some fat lady sitting at the mall, shaking at you. You can just hear that some bitch saying, I get off this big tit, I'm gonna eat your motherfucking ass. <laughs> And because the commercials say dumb shit, the goddamn products say dumb shit. Go to the drugstore, pick up a box of Preparation H. Says on the back of the box Preparation H, use only as directed. The fuck we gonna do, put it on crackers? <laughs> My old lady goes to the drugstore, she get, gets confused between that acne medicine, proper pH and Preparation H. She ain't got no pimples on her ass, but her fucking face is shrinking. Then I got one, night talk. This is a sleeping pill. And on the back of this sleeping pill box, it says in big black letters, after taking night talk, do not operate heavy machinery. <laughs> well, no shit. <laughs> I don't know about you folks. Me, I go home four o'clock morning, put on my pajamas, take a couple sleeping pills. I always go out in the backyard and fire up the old fucking bulldozer. <laughs> 
drive around the block a couple times, who the fuck's up, you know? Got one for women, EPT, early pregnancy test. Says on the back of this box, remember girls, early pregnancy test is for use exclusively in the privacy of your own home. <laughs> Where do they think girls doing that test at? On aisle eight by the canned goods? <laughs> Uh, ain't no ringing the bomb this fucker. Here's the hair, look at it. <laughs> Hold up by the vegetables, there's more light over there. <laughs> of course, us men, we can't laugh. Cause we, we're exposed to this shit all the time cause signs say dumb shit. You know signs say dumb? Go to the post office sometime. Every post office got this sign on the door that says, no dogs allowed except for C&I dogs. Who's reading that fucking sign? <laughs> fucking dog saying, come on, you blind motherfucker, we can go in here. <laughs> and all of us men at one time or another bought a pack of rubbers. Next time you buy a pack of rubbers, look on the back of the box, it says, pre-tested. Somewhere out there in the world, there's a fucker that gets to work on time. The man ain't never been late. He's there a lot of times. The hour before the factory opens, just warming up. Don't take no lunch. I work through, boss. It's okay. How you pre-test rubbers? Go to a rubber factory. There's 150 little Japanese sitting on the bench. Boy, well, this one will leak. Wrap it up, ship it out. <laughs> Mr. Chong, you taking too much time each rubber. Fuck you, I'm union. I'll go for overtime. <laughs> and just for propaganda reasons, the Russians, they ordered their rubbers 15 inches long and 6 inches in diameter. We had a smart-ass country boy working at the rubber factory. He marked all the boxes medium and shipped them back to him. Don't you know that fucked their minds up? See, if you're leaving, please be careful. I read in the paper tonight that one guy is hit by a car in this town every 15 minutes. Now, I don't know who this fucker is. But he could be lurking out there waiting to jump in front of your fucking vehicle. You'll recognize him. He's all fucked up, man. And whatever you do, don't be drinking and driving. That's a dumb thing. You hit a pothole and spill the fucker all over you. <laughs> like a drunk gets in a cab, says the cab driver, hey, buddy, got room up front for a case of beer and a pizza? Cab driver said, sure. He said, <laughs> Two drunks riding down the road. One drunk said, we're getting closer to town. The other drunk said, how can you tell? Said, we're hitting more fucking people. <laughs> Drunk walking down the street, drunk walking down the street, one foot on the curb, one on the street, one on the curb, one on the street. Policeman said, you drunk? He said, thank God I thought I was crippled. <laughs> blind guy, blind guy walks to the bar with a C&I dog, picks the dog up by the tail and twirls him over his head. Bar says, man, what the fuck are you doing? He said, just looking around. Next joke I'm gonna tell you is my second favorite joke in the world. And the next one after that is gonna be my most favorite. My second favorite joke in the world is this fat man gets out of the shower to YMCA. Great big old fat motherfucker. <laughs> His friend looks down and says, God damn. I, this joke fucking kills me, man, I'll tell you. <laughs> this great big fat man gets out of the shower to YMCA. His friend says, God damn. How long's it been since you seen your dick? That guy said, long time. His friend said, why don't you diet? He said, what color is it now? <laughs> My favorite joke of 
in the whole world is bear and the rabbit in the woods, side by side taking a shit. Bear and the rabbit in the woods, side by side taking a shit. Bear looks at the rabbit and said, do you have a problem with shit sticking to your fur? Rabbit said, no, not at all. Bear picked him up, wiped his ass with him. <laughs> Y'all stick around, bless your heart.